Hello everyone, welcome back to grade 12 trial exam prep weeks. Today I'm doing a Euclidean circle geometry question, so let's get into it. Question 8.1, they're saying that O is the center of the circle. Line KOM, which is going through the center, bisects chord LN. Now guys, we know that if you have a line from the center of a circle that bisects a chord like we have here, we can see that because they've indicated that also in in symbols on the diagram, we know that that means that the line from the center is then perpendicular to the chord as well. They're also telling us that K and P are points on the circle. Angle NKP is 32 degrees. That is indicated over here. We can see that. And OP, which is another radius, has been drawn. Okay, so the first thing that they're asking us is to determine, giving reasons, of course, the size of O2. Now, guys, O2 is an angle at the center, which is subtended by this arc. So O2 is at the center. Now, I'm hoping that we can notice that angle K1, which is this 32 degree angle, is also subtended by the same arc, but it is subtended at the circumference. Now, we all know that an angle at the center, O2, is equal to double, two times the angle at the circumference, as long as they are subtended by the same chord, or arc in this case. So, O2 is going to be double 32, which is 64 degrees, and your reason is going to be angle at center equals two times angle at circumference. That is a very long reason. Unfortunately, we have to write the whole thing out every time we use it. Next up, they're asking us to calculate angle O1, which is this angle over here. Now, my initial thought is that if we can find O3, which is over here, we can use angles on a straight line to calculate O1. Now, in order to find O3, we have a 26 degree angle there. And I actually know that M2 is also a 90 degree angle because of that line from the center that is bisecting that chord. So for B, I'm going to have to write down a couple of steps. First, I'm going to write down that M2 is equal to 90 degrees. And my reason for that is going to be line from center to midpoint of chord. We know that if you have a line from the center to the midpoint of a chord, then that line is also perpendicular to the chord, right? So that is our way of proving that M2 is 90. Then we can calculate O3 using 180 minus 90 minus 26. So that is going to give us an answer of 64 degrees. The reason for that is going to be angle sum in triangle or sum of angles in a triangle. You can also write that. And now we're going to say O1 is equal to 180 minus 64, which was O2, minus another 64, which was O3. And that is going to leave us with the final answer for O1 being 52 degrees. And our reason for that statement is angles on a straight line. 